Hey guys, JK Rancid here. Thought I would give you another tip slash guide video here to video making. Um, a lot of people have wondered, you know, what makes a good video, and uh, to be honest, the ones where somebody just kind of records what they do on the game and then throws the music in the background and adds a little flashes. Well, I've done it too, so I'm not gonna say they're the worst because then I would be downing my own videos, which is not that good. But um, they're not the best. I wouldn't even. Con I, there's a lot of mine where I'm just like, why did I do that? Um, I, what I like to do and what I, I was getting more into in the end there on the RuneScape videos was uh, doing my own audio, and it's it really adds a lot when you can go in and make your own audio for these videos. And I just went and I downloaded this free audio editor, you know, off the internet. And I don't know if it's it's still up to download, but you can find them all over the place. They're real easy to get a hold of. And you can just do so many things with it to uh, advance your audio and your videos. Because be making a good video doesn't just involve editing the actual video. It's editing your own audio to add to that video, you know, just to give it that little bit more. And so, like, something, you know, real simple is, like, uh, my Voices with Baby Jad video where I actually, that was all my voices in there, even the Baby Jad voices, and all I did to do that was I went in and I recorded this, and we'll just do like a JK Ransom Productions thing, and uh, just re remember, if you're going to do like a deep type voice where it's going to sound evil, you're going to want to kind of throw your voice a bit too, so we'll just do JK Ransom Productions real quick. JK Rancid Productions. And then once we have that in here, we'll go ahead and listen to it. K Rancid Productions. It obviously didn't record all of it because I didn't leave myself a little space in there. Always leave yourself a space in the beginning and the end when you hit record. So hit record, wait a second, then say it. Wait a second, then stop it. I didn't do that, who cares. So now that I've got that, I like to go in and amplify it, make it a bit louder. I'll probably do it a couple times. This because when you, whenever you're editing, you can only go as loud as the 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 actual file. So, but you can you know you, and if you go in and you edit this audio and you make it and it's real low, and then you put it in the video. It's gonna suck if you can't get that volume up loud enough that everything else your, your ambient noises you add to the background all dominate your actual sound you want to be the dominant sound. So always make it loud, and then if you need to. When you're editing the video, you can go in and lower that volume to where you want it to be. So I just like to get mine pretty loud, just in case, you know, I need it to be that much more dominant. Once I have that, to get that evil sounding voice, all I did was a simple thing, change the pitch. I didn't slow it down like a lot of people thought. Um, you just actually change the pitch. If you slow it down, it gets a little, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to 75% and now I should have that really deep sounding voice K Rancid Productions and there it is and it, it just adds that much more you know it, it's it's just something more for your videos rather than you know throwing some copyrighted music in the back of your video that it's, you know somebody might say well let's delete that off YouTube you know make your own audio it's it's really easy I'm still learning and so far it hasn't been bad to learn there's I mean there's a lot of stuff to learn about it but uh, it's you can really do a lot of cool things with it you know I mean apply reverse what does it sound like backwards it's <laughs> <That's> pretty creepy <laughs> yeah but I mean there's there's a lot you can do with it so just 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 go in make your own audio and you can improve your videos by that much more um, once I, I get it more into this and I've figured it out more myself, I'll go in and, you know, I'll, I'll probably do a few more guides on it. But uh, for now, grab an audio editor and start playing with it and, you know, do a voiceover video just to get a, a taste for it and see if you even like it. As for now, that's it, and I will see you guys next time.